ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hale is in Coronado with how some are feeling about getting into the water. San Diego County's Beach and Bay Water Quality Program website shows six beach advisories, but some people don't think that'll stop some people from getting in the water this holiday weekend. Plenty of people searching for a spot to get to one of San Diego's sought after beaches and weather this 4th of July weekend. It's great. It's, you know, it's a great long weekend and uh, it's a great way to start it. It doesn't look very busy today, but I think people come over for the weekend. There's actually a storm in Illinois, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I skipped that storm and just came here for the perfect weather. While people are looking to enjoy the great weather during the holiday weekend, they may want to check the water quality of where they plan to go. San Diego County's Beach and Bay Water Quality Program website shows six beach advisories with alerts to avoid touching the water in those areas. Some say this won't stop people from getting in the water. Like I live in Illinois, we don't have water. So for me, I'm ready to do anything just to, to touch the water. So. I think to each his own. I, I think the, the warnings are there. Uh, I didn't see anything posted around here, but you know, a little further south maybe. While others are heeding the advice of the advisories for the most part. He's like obsessed with the water, so it's like kind of hard for him not to. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of like try to stay by like the feet area, you know, like just wet the feet. I'll look it up before I go into the water. <laughs> that county website does show two beach closures, one for the Imperial Beach shoreline and the other for the Tijuana Slough shoreline. As we reported, those areas have been dealing with the issues of the wastewater flowing from Mexico into the Tijuana River on the U.S. side for quite a while now. Reporting here in Coronado, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.